carry on. This is something I created with my 15 years old daughter, with some of my colleagues who are so passionate about Power BI. When you look at the screen here, this is the overview. This has the sales total, the cost, the profit, the quantity sold, number of sales you can filter by month. We have sales by category, quantity sold by category, sales by product. We have sales by country, France has the highest sales, quantity sold, the number of sales by month. We have summary of all the products, quantity sold, sales, cost, and then the profit. Then we have the sales by user. Now on top here, apart from the overview, you have Adidas. You click on Adidas, you get all the records based on uh, Adidas. We have the sales for Adidas, cost, sales by country, sales by month. The same thing applies to Nike. When you click Nike, you have all the records based on Nike. Uh, and the same thing applies to Puma as well. Okay, so without wasting too much time, let's look at the steps that will be taken to get this done. So when you get here, uh, we upload the CSV files, uh, create the background using PowerPoint, create the calendar and measure tables, create and format the visuals. Okay, so let's go into our Power BI and then upload all the files. So let me go here. Okay, so we have company location. This one has the list of all the branches and their countries. We have the product. We have the product category. This is where we have Adidas, Nike, Puma. We have sales, we have sale details, and then we have the users who are the cashiers. Okay, so let's upload the company locations. Transform data. Okay, so here you can see the company location, the names, and then the country. Now, uh, let's upload the next one. Income target, which I don't think we'll be using in this video, but let's just upload it. The next one, this has the list of all the products. So as you can see here, we have the products, we have the, the various uh, selling prices and the cost prices. Uh, let's go here, upload the next one. Product category. We upload the next one. That's the sale file. This is where we have the sale date, the company location, and the cashier. So we click OK. Let's upload the next one, which is the sale detail. In the sale detail, that is where we have the product sold, their quantity. And then the next one is uh, user. This is where we have the list of, of, of all the users or cashiers. Okay, so for this video, the data is kind of clean. And uh, we have uh, the relationship. So uh, sale detail is linked to sale by sale ID. Uh, we have the product ID linked to uh, the sale detail and then we have the product category uh, linked to product uh, we have the company location also uh, part of the sale here so as to create the relationship we have the users as well part of sale okay so i think we are good so let's close and apply Okay, so while we wait for this, let's go straight to our PowerPoint. Try to create a background quickly. It should not take that long.
Okay, so let me format the background. Solid color. Let me select more color. And then here, 27, I'll make that available as well. 38, you can also use the color that you want, so 59. Okay, so we have our background. Now the next is to get our shape. Okay, so let me quickly format the ship. The ship has the same color as this. And then uh, do a bit of uh, formatting here. So at this level, take this out, take this out. This will be the same color as the background. And then here, we'll have a different color. So I think it's 65, 65, 90, 19. Okay, so you can make it better than this or nicer than this. That is fine. And the width is 133 based on my design. I'll bring it to the top here. And drag it all the way to the page. Okay, so we have this now. Let me copy and paste down here. This will be size 2.8, the height will be 2.8, and the width will be scissor to 2. Okay, so let me start from down here. Copy, paste it up. Bring it up here. Bring it up, and then the last one. Up here. Okay, for me to be sure, let me just select all of them. Format, go to arrange align both horizontally and then vertically okay so we have something good now i can paste another one this one is 4.7 here the width is 4.7 And then the height is uh, this will come down a bit. Yeah. Okay, so can place it here another one here then another one in the corner where we have our source by users 
this should be three six eight as we need. so we can have enough space so this will be here this comes here put this down here this should be nine point six four uh, kind of say let's put it here bring this down here Okay, another one here. If you have the same size, this should rather go down. And then another one here. You can design your own background nicer than this. This is just uh, for demonstration. Okay. So the next thing to do is to quickly add the label on top here. So here I'll say A, B, C. Sales dashboard. Select all format, reduce it to 28 degree. Here, yeah, let's add overview. That's for the first frame. Okay, so on top here, let's uh, bring in our logo. So we can put it on top here. This is okay. Okay, so, and then uh, another thing we need to do is uh, to add this four lines down there. So for overview is brighter. So let's go back to our PowerPoint and do the four lines. Or I can use uh, this shape for example. Position later here. Let me check the size. Just with something like this. Okay, so let me make this green. Or oh, I can use this. Okay. Then I copy this. Press it. One, two, three. 
So one comes here. One comes here. And then the last one comes here. Now for this, I'll change the color to be this because it's not selected. Okay, so this is good for Bavi. Let me save this. Save it as image. PNG. So we'll call this overview. Our overview background. Okay, so I'll duplicate this quickly. And then this one will be for Adidas. So what I need to do here is that this will rather be this way and this will be for Adidas. So I can make it this way, okay. Now, this will be out, this two will be out, and then the image will be here. Okay, good. So I'll duplicate this, one, another one, two. So here will be Nike. And then for Nike, we change this color to be this, and then this will be this. And this will be Uma. Okay, so here, we change to this, and then the last one will be Uma. Okay, so save all now. Let me save the Puma. Our Adidas, this is Adidas order. I think this is one of them. Let me cancel just to be sure. So this is what it does. Okay, so this one will be for night. And then the last one will be for Puma. Okay, okay. So we are done with this. Let's go back to our Power BI desktop. Okay, so the first thing to do, uh, let me quickly check if the relationships are okay. Okay, so we have our user ID here, link to sale. We have our company location also linked to sale. We have sale detail here, link to 
sale by sale ID. We have the product here. Okay, so and then there is another table somewhere here, which is the product category. Okay, you can even push it to the top here. Okay, this is fine. Now let's create our calendar table. So new table. I'll call it calendar. I'll use the calendar function and say okay, minimum of my sale date from sale table. And then maximum of my sale date from sale table. It should give me what I want. Okay, very good. So we have this here. Now let me uh, create another column for the month, formatted month, and then uh, another column for month index, which we can use to sort out the formatted month. Okay, so here I'm going to have month, which will be equal to format date that I created. Then the format I'll use MMM. In most of my tutorials, I have this already. So for those who have been watching, uh, they should get used to this by now. Okay, so I'm adding another column. From the top here, okay. So that one will be month in this, so equal to months, and then it. okay. So we have our calendar table ready. The next is our measures, okay. So, um, for the measures, we need the, okay, so let's look at this here. We need the sales total, cost total profit, quantity sold, number of sales. Now, uh, there is something that we need to do here. Because when you go to the sale detail table, we only have the product ID and the quantity sold. Now, the selling price and the cost are in uh, the product table. So we have it here. So there is a relationship between the two tables. So let's do this. I need to add a new column to this to calculate just the uh, sale detail total. So let's do this new column. Okay, so we'll just name the sale detail. So we are in a sale detail uh, uh, table, sale detail, sale total. Let me just make it selling total. So this will be the quantity from this table times, we'll use the related function and pass it the selling price for from the product table okay so this should be able to give us the total so it will take the selling price of the product times the quantity okay so the next we'll do the same thing for the cost price so new colon So this will be sale detail cost total uh, equals to quantity times related product cost price. So here I say sale detail cost price 
should be equal to quantity times related product cost price. Okay. So we are good now. This is what we are going to sum to get the overall total sales and then the cost price. So now let's create our measures table. So I'll go here. Enter data. So here we we'll say all measures. Same process in all my videos. So all measures. Okay, so in all measures table, I'll create the first measure, which will be the sales total. So sales total will be equal to sum of the sale detail selling total. Now, I'll do the same thing for cost price, do the same thing for profit. So I can copy this, create new measure. So this will be cost total, and then here it will be sales detail cost total, so cost price. Now we are going to create the profit, which will be the sales total minus cost total. And then the next one is to get the total quantity sold. So the quantity sold and then the total number of sales. Okay, so here we'll create another measure. Okay, so this will be quantity sold, and this will just take the sum of quantity. The last measure will be for the number of sales. Okay, so number of sales is equal to, let's use count rows. Yeah, I'm using this because I know in my sale table everything is unique. So count rows, the sale table. Okay, so now we are done with the measures. We can start creating our visuals. Okay, I don't need this column one, so I can take it out. Okay, so the number one thing to do is to bring in our background. Uh, there is no formatting 
pen here, our panel here. So let me go to view. Then get format. Okay, so canvas background, browse. So uh, the first one is our overview background. Okay, so it won't show until I make the transparency zero. Okay, so we have this here. This is for our overview. Okay, so let me fit it in. Okay, so we are good. Now, let's bring in our total sales. So we need a card here, so I'll go to home. Okay, so I'll reduce it here. Let me just bring it down a bit. Reduce it, go to the formatting, take out the particular label, take out the background. Okay, so the color up value will have. this color so let me go to more colors e -E. all this will be made available but you can also change the color so this is okay so i'll change the size to 35 maybe You can make it bold. Okay. And then also for this, I want to give it a title. So, so this will be sales. The title should be centered. And the color of the title should be yellow. Yeah, something like this. Okay, so let me take it to the top here. First of all, we have our filter here, so let me leave that for now and finish with the rest. Okay, so we have the sales. Now the value here should be in dollar. Okay, so I'll do the same thing for profit. Profit should be in dollar. Cost total as well. Okay, so from this, we have this area chart here. So let me bring it in. Area chart. Now, before then, uh, because I'm going to use the math, let me sort it by the month index. Okay, so here. This is going to be the sales total. By month. This should be here.
Okay, so um, sorry, I didn't link my calendar table. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So let's go here to our calendar table. We need to now link our calendar table to the cell table. Create a relationship between the two. So this date will now go here. Okay, so we have what we're supposed to have now. Okay, so let me go to the formatting. Take out the the title from the X. Take out the whole X. Do the same thing for Y. Take out the title as well. Okay, so take out the background. We will change the title to a different color. No, this is not going to have a title, sorry. Okay, so let me reduce this now. Then we take it to the top here. Okay. This can come down a bit. Okay. So this looks good. You can make it nicer than this. So I'll copy this and this. Paste it down here. Copy, paste again, bring this down here. Copy again, paste. And then the last one, paste. Okay, so this is going to be for the cost price. So let me quickly change the title. The cost. The next one is going to be for profit. This one will be number of sales or quantity sold. The last one will be number of sales. Okay, so for cost price in a card, I'll go here, change this to cost price, cost to card. I'll do the same thing for this. Take it to cost total. For profit, I'll change it from sales total to profit. I'll do the same thing here, sales total to profit. Okay, so for quantity sold, this will move from Sales total to quantity sold, and also for the area charge, this should be moved from sales total to quantity sold over the year. So, this is number of sales. We go here, change it to number of sales, and then we go down here, change it 
extend this to number of cells throughout the year. Okay, so let's format this. No, sorry, this. Fallout value. I want it to be none. No, sorry, this should be in million just like the, the two on top. Okay. For quantity sold, we can leave it like that. For number of sales, quantity sold because it's not that many, so I can change it to none. This also none. Okay. Yeah, I'll pick up the auto. Get it zero. Okay. So we are done with the left side. It's left with the month filter. And this doesn't look bold, so maybe we should just change it up. But it's okay. Let me just change it up. Okay. okay, so quickly let's put our filter there. So filter by month. Okay, so we change the settings. To drop down. Slicer header, select month. Okay, so just to be consistent, the color here will be this. We take out the background. Okay, and uh, the content will have. different color the background will have the same background as this and the values will be this so let's see I made a mistake somewhere here this select much okay okay so it's left with this background here so slicer values background here will be this okay let me change the background color to this, this is okay you can rework on it and use the color you want. So we have select month here. For that matter, I need to bring in, see if we can go up a bit, and then bring down this.
Okay, that's okay. We can reduce the, the font size of this to have enough space. Okay, so now the next thing to do is to bring our sales by category, quantity sold by uh, quantity sold by category. So let me go here. So sales by category. This is faster for me to use. So sales by category is here. That category. Okay, so let's quickly format this. The title should be sales by category. Okay, so the color of the title should be this. Now we don't need this one. I'm oh, sorry. Then for why we don't need this as well. Okay. So now I can make the background transparent. About this. So the value of this will be this and the value of y will also be the same. Okay, so we push it here. We can reduce the size here. Okay. Take it a bit up. This okay. The title for this, I think I use, I reduce it to 10. I made it bold. Okay. So sales by category. We do the same thing for quantity sold by uh, category. So here, I'll use my pie chart. I can just format it before I start. Okay, so quantity sold by category. So we select the quantity here, and then we go and select the category. So quantity sold by category name. So I can go here, turn this to this category name. Uh, and then I don't need the legend. The value here should be this, and I want the values to only show me the data value. I don't need a percentage. Okay, so you can leave it like that. That is okay. So we have this now ready. Let me work on the rotation. Okay, so this is clear to us now. Fine, so we are done with quantity sold by category. The next one is sales by product. So if you look at here, we have sales by product. Okay, so sales by product. Then we have the product here. Let me drag it here. Drag it all the way here. Reduce this a bit. Okay, so I can just use this format for this guy. Okay, so we have sales by sales by product. Let me just change the title. Okay, so and the next one is what sales by country, sales by month. So let's start with sales by country. So here 
I'll choose this. So sales by the country, we have the country in the company location. So sales by country. You can use the map if you want for this. So let's drag this guy here. So we have our sales by country here. Okay, so we can use the same formatting for it. So I'll go to I'll select this, go to format painter, then I can click here. Okay, so this makes it easier for us. I'm bring it down a bit. So this up. Okay, this is fine. And the next one is uh, the line chart sales by month. So we bring this here. Let me quickly do a formatting and see if this will help. Drag it down here. Sales by month. Sales total. Buy by month here. Okay, this is nice. You can do the formatting individually if you want. But to make it easier for myself, I just have to select one of them. Select Format Painter and then come and click here. Okay, so the next one is uh, quantity sold and number of sales by month. So you can see the sales by month here uh, uh, in quantity. And then you can see the line here, number of sales by month. So let's do that also. So for that, we use this. Let me bring it down here. Okay, I'll use this, I'll select this format painter, come and click here. So here we have quantity sold, number of sales, and then by month. Sorry, something is not right here. So I'll start again. Select this. Bring it down here. Okay. So quantity sold. Number of sales by month. Okay, so, and I don't want it this way. So the number of sales should be in a line, so here. Okay, so let me highlight this, select Format Painter, and then come and click here. Okay, so I don't need this legend, we keep it out. Okay, very good. Now the next one is the table that we have here so let's quickly do that so i'll bring in matrix okay see if Painter will work. So let me select Format Painter just before I start. Okay, so let's just do this. At least the background is, is okay. So I'll select it now. Select the product name. Product name, quantity sold, sales, cost, profit. Product name. Quantity sold, sales total, 
cos and profit. So you can see each product with their quantity, so sales total, cost total, and the profit. Okay, so here now I need to do a bit of formatting. So the background, let me change the name here so I can go here. This will be product name, so you just have to double click. I want to maintain just the sales, not sales total. And then down here, I want to maintain cost total. Yeah, that depends on you. You can leave it like that if you want. So now you can see this has changed. So let's format it a bit to look like what we have here. So I'll select my table. Go to format. I'll first go to values. So I want my test color to be this. My background to be this. So it looks like I've lost the color. So 27, 38, 59. Okay, so, and then here, this color will be this. Then we change the background again to this. Okay, so we'll do the same thing for the header. Row headers. The text color will be this. The background color will be this. Okay, so you can make this bold if you want. That is fine. So it's now with the color uh, colon headers. The text color will be this, and uh, maybe the background color in uh, maybe it's blue. Yeah. Um, okay. So let me make it a bit lighter. Let's see what we have here. Okay, it's blue. Bold. This is blue. Okay, so this is it. Now, uh, the lines. I think we have some lines. I want to make them fight vertical lines as well. You can do the border. So you can see lines here. You can make this also fight just like we did for others. Let me expand this a bit. So we have our table. Good. So let's ha let's add the uh, test quickly before we start adding the images. So here is going to be summary. Select it. All our tests. We have ten. Uh, I think the font is green. And. Uh, Font color is uh, this. Let's take out the background. Okay, good. So we are done with this part. It's left with only the sales by users let's look at this here so here sales by users so let's do that quickly for that i use a multi-row card 
So let's go down here. Bring it down. Okay, so sales by users. Sales. And then we select the users. Down here we have user. Select the users. Let me see if my formatting will work. So I'll select this. I'll select this guy here. Format painter. Come and paste. Click here. Okay, so partly. Okay, so let's take out the Let's take out the category labels. There will be a title. Sales by user. Okay, so For the call out value, because it's black, that's why we are not seeing it. So I'm changing the color to this. And then the card. For the card ascent bar, I want to change it to, let's see what color we have here. Is it blue? Okay, kind of blue. Okay, so. Oh, we can use blue. Okay, this is okay. Okay, so we are good here. This is not bad. Now, let's bring in our images. So, number one, uh, let's go to insert, go to image. I have those images here. So, the first one should be for overview. So I have overview icon here. I'll share all this icon with you. So we can take it to the top here. Okay, so let me reduce it a bit. Okay, this looks okay. Now the next one is the Adidas image. So let me go for the Adidas. We have it here. Reduce it to fitting. So I'll take it down again. Bring it here. Okay, so the next one is a Nike. The next one is Nike, so let me go here, bring in the Nike. Okay, and then the last one, not the last one, but not the least, is uh, Puma. Okay, so image. Okay, very good. So we need to now do it in a way that once this is clicked, uh, it loads what we have here. So when you go here, for example, you click on Adidas, see what comes. So we only have sales by country, sales by month, quantity sold, and then we have the summary. This is very simple. So what we have to do is to just duplicate this page. Let me first rename this to overview.
and then I will duplicate this and this will be Adidas okay now I don't need this sales by product I don't need this and I don't need this and the background uh, has also changed so it's not going to be overview so let's select the right background for this so we have our Adidas background so we have what is it our Adidas background it should be in the PowerPoint so our Adidas background here okay so we have this here so now I can just copy this Adidas put it here and make it bigger okay yeah so um, the next thing to do is to just filter this page so watch what I'm going to do here we have filters on this page we have filters on all pages so I want everything here to be filtered by only Adidas so uh, I'll just drag and drop this here and watch out you drop it here filters on this page okay if you drop it on filters on all pages it will filter all pages so this is I'm targeting only this page so I will now select Adidas good so everything here will only be filtered by adidas okay and then i'll hide this i'll hide the page now let me duplicate this this will be for night Then I'll duplicate again. And this will be for Puma. Okay, so let me do the filter here as well. So for Nike, The filter will be Nike. So this will be Nike. And then for, let me change the color, uh, the image. I think I use another image for that. So use something like this and make it bigger okay so this is for night we'll change the color later let's go to Puma okay so for Puma we just have to select Puma as filter Okay, so I'll take out this image, copy this, and then paste it here. Okay, so now we need to change the background for Adidas. We have a background for Adidas that will highlight. Okay, so we've done that already. Now the color. So we need to change the color for Adidas. So here, I'll select this, then I'll go to the top, 
here go to line change the color to something like this this is okay so the same thing will be done for this 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 I'll go here change the bar color with this I'll go here change the line color to be this I'll go here change the bar This and then the lines. Let's see what we have in the line here. Okay, so the lines will be this color. So, what else do we have to change? Okay, so this doesn't have any background. Okay, so on this, in the header, the column, I forgot to take out the row short paper. We don't need it. And then the column headers, we want the color to be this. Okay, so we go to Nike. In Nike, let's see the color we use. Okay, so let's go back here. Okay, so I'll select this. So we use something like this. Let's see. Yeah. So I'll do the same thing here. See if this is small. So I'll do the same thing here. Change the color of the line to this. Here. Here, the bar colors. Go this way. At this level, we do the same thing here. Let's see what we have for the line. Okay, so go back here. 
for the line we have this no for the line is rather this so it's so here what do we have for the line And then on this table, let me take out this background, give it the color we'll be using, I think it's 37, 38, 59. Okay, so we are good here now. Let's go and check. This looks good. Okay, here the color is different. So let's change the line color. Okay, so there was something we missed out here. Let me check. Yeah, so on this level, in night, sales by user. Is it a call out value? No, I think it has. Then the ascent bar also took it. Okay, so uh, the last one, I know the list, Puma. Okay, so for Puma, I think the color is okay. Let's just uh, take out this here. Now, let me check something here. For Puma. Okay, so and the color is okay for Puma. Okay, so now you see that it is hidden. Once it is hidden and you come here, you will not see it. So the moment you click, it should be able to show. So the next thing we need to do is to now link those images to the hidden pages. So that is what we need to do now. So I'll select this. I'll go to action. Select page navigation. And then I'll select which page I want it to navigate to. So this is Adidas. Now we do the same thing for Nike. So page navigation, I want you to go to Nike. Then the same thing for Puma. Okay, page navigation. Destination Puma. So when you go here, uh, we have to do the same thing. I could have just copied and pasted them, but uh, let's just do it again. So here, the overview, I wanted to go back to overview. So page navigation, it should go to overview. And then here, Pass, 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 page navigation. This, we are already in Adidas, so we don't need this, sorry. So here, we only select for Nike, for the rest. So for Nike, page navigation, destination Nike. And then for Puma, page navigation, 
Dash Edition Puma. Okay, so I'll do the same thing for night. So we haven't changed the background, so it's still showing Adidas here. So let me quickly change the background to our night background. So I'll go to PowerPoint, my night background. Okay, then I'll do the same thing for Puma before I forget. So our Puma background. So when you are in Nike, what you do is to select overview again. So in overview, select this action, page navigation, Take us, uh, take us to overview. Adidas action with navigation. Take us to Adidas. We are already in Nike, so I don't need this. So I'll go to this guy here, Puma. Page navigation. Take us to Puma. So now in Puma, I'll go here, overview. Again, I could have just copied it from the first one, but that's okay. So overview will take us to overview. Adidas will take us to Adidas. Mike will take us to Nike. Okay, so I think we are done. Let's just uh, quickly look at it. Because we are designing this, uh, what happens is that you can still see it here, but it is going to be hidden once you publish it. So uh, let's just control and uh, click here, Adidas. You see that it's taking us to Adidas page. When you click here, Nike. Nike takes us to Nike page. So irrespective of where you are, if you click maybe on overview, it takes us to overview. Okay, so this is what I want to show you. Thank you so much. And uh, let's look forward to another video uh, next weekend or uh, the next two weekends. Thank you so much. Bye.